Wait a minute. You guys probably thinking, Jeezy, what are you doing here? Listen, Wavy Kid Kev mom hit me up last minute and was like, hey, we need you to come down here. Wavy Kid Kev is winning an award, all right? This is way in New York, okay? Buffalo, okay? Buffalo, New York, New York, Buffalo. It's all the same to me. Don't judge me on how I say it. So I had to make a couple of calls. I had to make a couple of ends. I had to make the ends meet to be able to go on this trip. So I went on the trip. You're finna see me and my wife surprising Wavy Kid Kev, his grandma showed up as well. He didn't know his grandma was gonna be there, so let me just, let's just watch. you guys so before you actually start cutting what you want to do is you want to make sure that you comb everything out brush the temple area down when you're combing everything out what you're doing is actually lifting the hair off of the scalp making it easier for the hair to feed into the teeth of the blade you don't want to start on a sloppy canvas so make sure you start off by combing and brushing the hair in place Now my client wanted a two on top, so I went ahead and grabbed my two guard with the lever fully closed using my Stylecraft Instinct and I'm going with the grain of my client's pattern, making sure I go nice and slow, not rushing it so I don't gap his waves. Now with each waiver that I cut, I always go a guard size higher on the crown area. So he got a two all over, so now I'm doing a three on the crown. Now using my Babyliss FX trimmers, I'm gonna set in my bald line and I'm gonna set it in with a slight curve. Now going back with my Stylecraft Instinct, I'm gonna set the lever open and basically go up about a half inch, making sure that I go in that C cup shape. Next, putting on the one guard with the lever open, basically doing the same width as the lever open, going up about a half inch, making sure I go over it multiple times to ensure that it's at that length.
Next, I'm gonna clear out that bulk that's on top by just going with the grain with the one guard. Now that I have that bulk pretty much cleared up at the top, I'm gonna go with my zero guard with the lever fully closed and flick out that middle line. Now with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember to start below the line, flick to the line, and then use your corners at all times. So after you put your steps in and you took them out, the best part is detailing your work, all right? This is where you utilize the mirror. The mirror shows you a different perspective on the blend that you can't see just head on, all right? I like to rest my eyes as well because sometimes when you're just looking at a blend, you can't really see until you rest your eyes, all right? So do that. Use the corner of your blades. Use them as thinning shears to debulk those areas. Now, as far as the back goes, it's the same exact step. The only difference is you have more room to work with. I start off using my bald line, then I'll grab my clippers, go in with the lever open, then I'll put on my one guard with the lever open, maybe even use a two guard up top to debulk that area or go with the grain with the one. Then I'll come back down with the zero guard closed, clean up that middle line. Next, with the lever closed, clean up that bottom area. And lastly, detail work. Now, before I go into lining my client up, I always like to take the front down a guard size lower, just the tips, all right? That way you're gonna be able to expose his natural line. And also when he brushes his hair, you'll get no overhang. One thing I need to tell you before taking down the front line is to go with the wave pattern, all right? If you don't go with the wave pattern, it's gonna cause gaps. I also like to spray spritz on the front line, brush the hair down, and then cool it off with some cool Cool air. The reason why I use cool air is because it dries out better. And next, you wanna give your client a slight brush session, brush all those hairs down as much as possible. You're wondering where you could get this brush, you could get this brush at 360gz.com. Links will be in the description below. And after I get done brushing all the hairs down as much as possible, then I finish it off with a freehand trim on top.
Listen, I don't know what barber he went to last time. His taper didn't really grow back that good. But he came to me to get right, so his other barber didn't want him to be great, but... God did! YouTube! This is The Cut! And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother. He does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Also, if you want to know where you can find the tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Otherwise, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here.